okay. I shot the guy, and he was all, we got our guy, and I was like, I don't know, and he was all like, well, maybe we should put him on anyway, and that was happening. I hope this puts to bed that crazy stuff you had going about Leland Monroe. What were you thinking, Phelps? Be calling Richard Nixon a crook next. <laughs> funny because Richard Nixon's famous <laughs> excuse me one of Richard Nixon's famous lines is I am not a crook also because he's a crook can we finally find out what these two are doing a letter from you be fucking. his insurance policy named me beneficiary California fire and life he worked for a lesion the roof that he was working on collapsed very generous settlement. Elsa, I'd like you to do something for me. I think there's something dirty about Elysian Fields. What has that got to do with Lou? I want you to reject this settlement. I want you to go and see an investigator named Jack Kelso and ask him to make some inquiries about Lou's case. Isn't this police work? You want to find out what happened to Lou? Why would he help Mr. Kelso? Jack. Won't be able to help himself if he smells a rat. He is a friend of yours? He hates my guts. Elsa, we could take this money and let them get away with it, or we could get Jack's help and do something about it. Why not be honest with Then take the money anyway. He deserves your honesty if you want his help. Believe me, Elsa, I'd like to level with him. I really would, but it's too late. Years too late. So, Cole's just a dick? Really? That was a quick case, actually. What was it? What am I smoking? Yeah, it was. No, it wasn't. I can't remember when that case fucking started. Hey yo. Oh shit, what is this? There's no need to come into the office, Miss Lipton. If you accept the settlement, all you need to do is sign here. I don't accept this. What do you mean you don't accept? <clears throat> I think you're pushing your luck, lady. This seems to be a ridiculously generous settlement. A two hundred dollar policy with a twenty thousand dollar payout? You should... I don't want the money. What do you mean, you don't want the money? I want you to investigate this case. I feel my friend may have been the victim of foul play. Okay. Let me get the case file. I don't want to play as him. I don't want to play as this guy. got to be more in these files. What am I, what am I looking for exactly? It all seems really familiar to me. I'll tap all the way down and up this fucking thing. There's something else in that report. I know it. Fine. Mind telling me what?
I can't even click on this. Oh, I can turn the page. That would help. Sounds like your friend took a hell of a fall. Sorry for your loss. Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Of course not. What basis do you have for your claim of foul play? Lou Buckwalter was a craftsman. I don't believe he would have made a roof that would collapse. What are you talking about, Miss Lichten? This was an industrial accident. How do you know that? Because it says right here in black and white. Do you believe everything that you read, Mr. Carso? You and Buck Walter weren't married. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck's no. going on right now. Then how did you become his beneficiary? We were family friends. Oh, yeah, here. Yeah, you expect me to reopen this case because you come in here walking that walk? Well, I'm not buying it. I think you should tell me what the hell is going on. Do you really want to know? Yes. We were interned together on Ellis Island. Resident alien Germans whose parents had been killed by Nazis. Do you see the irony in that, Mr. Kelso? We spent four years there. <laughs> So the roof collapsed. Accidents happen. What exactly are you trying to achieve here, Miss Lichtman? Exactly what I said. I want that building thoroughly investigated. <laughs> I'm intrigued, Miss Lichtman. I really am. But you're going to have to give me something if you want me to get involved in this. There is a conspiracy surrounding Elysian Fields and the new houses they are building. I believe your insurance company is involved. That's pretty heady stuff, Miss Lichtman. Flimsy, but heady. I've told you what I know, Mr. Castle. What the fuck does heady mean? What are you going to do about it? All right, Miss Lichtman. One final question. Yes. What's your address? Is that the usual? Is there anything usual about this case, Miss Lichtman? The address is on the letter, Mr. Castle. The address, not the phone number. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Mr. Benson would like to see you in his office, Jack. Upstairs. Come on, I'll walk you up. Hey. When I start wearing this jacket, was it? I was I always? I was, wasn't I? My curiosity. Woo! I'm 18 completed. That means I'm on the 19th. That means I only have three more. It's 3.30 in the morning. You coming? Oh yeah, sorry, I'm just really curious as to who, like, I am and why I'm not Cole Phelps. Andrew Ryan? Mr. Benson? You guys are dead. You wanted to see me? Oh yes, Jack. I'm just trying out a new putter. I noticed Elsa Lickman in the lobby. <laughs> It's the weirdest thing, Mr. Benson. Call me Curtis, Jack. This is California. Like I said, Curtis, this is a very strange case. How so, Jack? That lady, Elsa Lichtman, is refusing a 20 grand payout. Elsa Lichtman is hardly a lady, Jack. She's a jazz musician. Plays at the Blue Room in Hollywood. She has a fine pair of lungs, now that I think She's of it. She's the beneficiary of this guy, Lou Buckwalter. He was killed in an industrial accident working for Elysian Fields Developments. <sighs> you know Elysian? I'm familiar with Leland Monroe. We move in similar circles. Well, Miss Lichtman is making some pretty serious accusations. She says the case stinks and that she's a very happened. highly strung girl, Jack. Strung out might be a better way to put it. 
It's a pretty generous payment, Curtis. I think I should look into it. Is there anything wrong with the paperwork, Kelso? No, there isn't, Mr. Benson. I didn't think so. Pay the case out and get her off our backs. I can't make her take the money, Deal sir. with it, Jack. Do your fucking job. Do I have to do Ooh. everything? No, sir, you don't. Fine, Jack. Fine. You know I have the greatest confidence in you. Thanks, Mr. Benson. Your car, Mr. Kelso. Mm. Thanks, kid. Yeah, let's get. Nice not to have a partner for once. <sighs> That's not true. I miss being called Phillips. I hope we get to go back to him. I still can't believe he's actually cheating on his wife. Kind of a dick move. He seemed like such a straight and narrow guy. That's not how my pop top no, is there. Someone is cutting corners. <laughs> That's a mint. That is cement in the sink. What kind of fucking idiot? What's that? Leland Monroe, the man with the grin. Looks like he doesn't like to be disappointed. Bulldozing and starting again. <laughs> hey, you just can't be walking around down here. I'm Jack Kelso from California Fire and Life. I don't care if you're from the Vatican. Buzz off. I'm investigating the accidental death of a Lou Buckwalter and you deaf? Do I have to beat on you? Looks like you do. You're a real asshole. You Wait, know that? What? Ow. No fair. I'm on a freaking house where Lou Buckwalter died. You were just about to offer to show me the way. It's out the gate and three houses down on the left. Don't know what you're looking for, smart guy. There's nothing there. Then I'll poke around in the rubble. Fine. As long as you're out of my sight. I believe I had a hat, you dick. You hear him in musical films. And now, you hear him on KTI. Big Joe Turner. And park. Place falls down and then they bulldoze. What gives here? Not for construction use. Generally speaking, you're not learning much when your mouth is moving. What are you doing? Me? Who's yelling? Who's yelling? Hey! Fuck. What is everyone's fucking beef? There it is again. 
people building with things that say not for construction use. Which I think is just absolutely stupid. But hey, who the fuck am I? Let's try to piece this together. That's not right. That is not right. Keystone Films. Who gets their lumber from a film studio? Weirdos. Oh shit. Bitch. 